Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Cell Tower. So let's start with Tower. Ooh, we have an ER word on the left. Let's look at the right word. Uh, my initial thought was an Och word, like botch. So let's just give that a try. Wow, the B being correct was not the letter I thought. <laughs> Something like booty is definitely possible. Should I give that a try? Okay, I'm going to give this a try, but then I'm going to have to really knuckle down and, and figure out what's going on. All right, uh, B O and then ends in T. Interesting. Not double O. Could it be B O I? Like I guess boist isn't a word. B O U. Like what? What are we doing here? Or is it like A T or U T or I T? All right, I, I can't figure it out. So let's think about what E R word we've got. Um, A E R is very common. So is I E R. I mean, all of them are. Um, Let's uh, let's guess Ader, which will give us the A and the I. I think I need to know which vowel we're dealing with so I can target the correct consonants. Oh, okay. So that's very helpful. Um, D-I something E-R. So it could be Diver. It could be Diner. I may be Dimer. I don't know if it would be Dimer, but it's a word. Diaper is spelled differently. Um, I think, I think all, you know, realistically, we're between Diner and... And maybe, I don't know, dialer, no, that's not a word. D diner and diver. Um, let's look at this right word. B-O-A something T? Boast. I think, I think boast is it. I think it's worth guessing. Yeah, okay. And if I really think it's diner or diver, I could just guess one or the other. Um, I think I will gamble that because I don't think it's going to be dimer. I don't know what that means, so. Uh, someone who dimes. <laughs> Let's do it with diner. Hey, got lucky. There we go. All right, diner boast. We're boasting about the diner that we went to. It had very good eggs. Let's play fibble. So each guess has exactly one lie in it. So, for example, this A maybe should have been green or gray, or maybe this O should have been yellow or green. We don't know which one, but we know there's exactly one lie. So what I like to do is bring in one of the grays. I think maybe something we can do is something like villa. So the lie here is that this gray should have been yellow. Uh, we're using the L and A in another spot as well. And then we're two new letters with VI. Okay, so this is saying there's no Ls and this is saying there's one L. So that's one of the lies. Um, and so because we know where one of the lies is, it's between these two Ls or these two, doesn't matter. Um, that means that anything that agrees between the two has to be true. So these A's, the truth about these A's is that there is an A in the word. We, they could still be lying. One of them could be lying as green. The point is that both can't be lying. So there's definitely an A in the word somewhere. Now, I'm, I'm of a mind to think that this V is the lie just because it's an uncommon letter. And that would make this L a lie, and this would all be true. So let's mark that up, and let's assume that that's true for now. You can always undo that. Um, maybe like an AI word or um, what would I do here? Maybe something like um, I don't know. I was thinking AIST, but a waste maybe. That's not bad. Okay, so. We didn't get any contradictions. It's following what we thought, which means that maybe the lie is that I. Maybe maybe this is true, like A-I-N-T, paint. That's worthwhile. OK, it's, it's staying consistent with results here. Um, it could still be A-I-N-T if there's another word. Uh, not immediately seeing one. It'll be embarrassed. Oh, faint, faint. There it is. Okay, I was gonna say it'll be embarrassing if it is an eight word. And I'm just not seeing it, and I go off on some other tangent. But yeah, faint is is correct. Nice. The lies were really, really trying to uh, to fool us today. <laughs> the eyes lied exactly the same way in the middle here, twice in a row, and then the L and V being this the first slot being the lie, both is yellow. Yeah, but I saw right through it. <laughs> How'd you do? Let's play betweenal. I'll start with mouse and explain what's going on. So this orange dot 
is telling us how close we are to the top or bottom word. It's kind of middling. And this 24 and 21 kind of verify that. This 20, so if we think about all the words laid out alphabetically, like in a dictionary, um, we guessed a mouse. And so it's saying our word is between mouse and the end of the dictionary, all Zs. And we're about halfway. If you were to flip about to the halfway point there, our words on that page. Um, but not quite halfway. We're a little bit closer to the end. So 24% here, 21% here. So I'm thinking about starting with S, just like something like shore. I mean, whatever comes to mind first. My strategy is really just to find the first letter, then find the second letter. And then once you have the first two letters, then you have to be a little bit more subtle about it. <laughs> but so we don't know that we start with S. We are 2.4% of words away from shore. Now, H is a little bit early in the alphabet, and there's a lot of words that start with S, but I'm thinking maybe I do like, I don't know, taint <laughs> to um, do a TA word. Okay, so TA is, is much farther away than SH, so I think we are S something. I'm gonna look at ST here. Let's do an early ST, like stare. Wow, I went way too far with ST, okay. Um, maybe SL then? SL seems like not far enough. Maybe SP. Let's do spare. Wow, I, I went way too far again. There's a lot of words starting with S, apparently. Um, we're a little bit closer to spare, but not much. So maybe we do SL. Slain. Okay, so we're, we're pretty close to slain. So we're probably SL. Now, at this point, we just want to think about words that are... We need to move forward about 74-ish words. Because anything after the decimal point, you can kind of think about that as a count. It just kind of works out that way that there's about 10,000 words in the list. So um, because of that, 0.74 is about 74 words. So we need to think about what is a 74 word jump forward from slain. Um, I'm actually not entirely sure what to use here. Um, maybe like an S, maybe an SLE, maybe something like sleep. It's probably not far enough, but let's see. Yeah, it wasn't, far, it wasn't far enough by far. So maybe an SLU, like slump. That's probably too far, though. Oh, that wasn't far enough. OK. Uh, we don't have to be SL, but I think we might be. Is there a, is there, so we need 16 words after slump. I'm actually thinking about doing SM, like smart. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that was a smart guess. Nice. So I got that in nine. Um, How would you do? All right, let's play Cell Tower. So the way this game works is we are doing a word search, but it's not your typical like draw a line word search thing, right? Like S O C A or whatever. Yeah, whatever you know what you're talking about, like where you sort of draw a line around words. Instead, you need to make shapes. You need to make blocks of words that are connected in some way. Uh, so I could do this, for example. That would be a shape. It's too big. You're limited to eight letters, but this would be read as U S E F U O F T B A. So we read it left to right, top to bottom. And as long as it's connected in some way, it's valid. And as long as it's four to eight letters long, it's valid. So um, we can't do use because it's too short, but that would be use. Um, in fact, what are we doing? Because we have this W, right? So we're definitely going U S, but this U can only be followed up by an S or a U. Uh, actually, that's not true. It's not true because let's say we wanted to follow up with this E. We could connect down here and then we'd be U E U L O. Um, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of opportunity for that. So I think we are going to go U S. But what are we doing from that? U S E maybe? Not seeing it. Um, I see slag here. I don't know if we, that would be it, but. The other thing about cell tower to, to keep in mind is that there's only one solution. So just because I found slag doesn't mean I should lock it in. We need to see how that affects the words around slag to see like, can we actually make a word, right? And we're gonna have a little bit of trouble with this U here because we'd have to either start with UU, like if imagine slag was blocked out, we'd either have to start with UU or we'd have to do UE as our start um, and then come all the way around slag and come back up to the E and that's not going to work. So slag is actually not a possibility. Um, I still think we go U S something U S E maybe cause it's either U S L or U S E probably or U S U usual. We can't do usual, right? Because this would actually be usula. 
because it's U-S-U-L-A. Um, I can't think of another U-S-U word. Hmm. Yusuf. Wow, I can't think I can't think of this word. So I'm gonna focus somewhere else and come back to it. Um sometimes looking at the bottom can be helpful. Build up from the bottom. We've got club. This V is interesting. We've got an ST ending maybe here. Like EST. Um okay, I see covers. I'm not going to lock these in yet, right? I'd like to highlight it and see what kind of shape it makes and whether we can, it seems reasonable that we can just build words up around it. So we've got covers and we've got club. Um, rest. I don't know if rest would have something before it. We've got spot. Again, I don't know if that has something before it. But spot, rest, covers, and club all do fit together very well. Um... What would be going on here? Look at these BETs in this cluster here. I see keys. I don't know if that would be it. Um, I see beat. Hmm. Something's wrong here. I don't like this. Um, probably not beat. I don't even know if beat's a word with double E, actually. Um... What about over here? Moral, M-O-R-A-L, moral. Um, I see an I-N-G here. I see a C-K here, probably U-C-K, like buck. But I'm worried about these letters down here. I think I, think I missed something with covers or um, spot, maybe rest. Hmm. Sing? Probably like an SSING type situation here. Um, mossing? No. It'd probably be OSSING. Hmm. That's six letters. So we could potentially add two more letters to it. Like flossing, or what, what would it be? Crossing? We can't do crossing, as far as I can tell. What does that do to this stuff around here? We've got buck. I don't know if that's right. I keep wanting to do like butter or something, but it doesn't actually work. Actually, does it be? No, because we can't do ER. That's the problem. They're in the reverse order. Um... Wow, this is interesting. CK here. But we need a vowel. We don't have a vowel. I mean, we've got back. That actually works. Maybe maybe it's something back, but... What would this be? Ending in AR or something? Something's wrong here. Okay, I maybe not back then. I'm not confident in anything I've done here. Also, this awesome isn't actually a word. I need to add something to it. So, hmm. Something's wrong. Um, it didn't really help me build up into this area either. Merit? Let's look more at this. 
This K is weird. What are we doing with this K? Like work? Worker? I like worker. Yusef Fulf. <laughs> what? Yusef Fulf. Yusef. How does this work? I mean, I like worker, but like, look at this. This doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, work has no meaning anymore. We've got bash. I also had back here. Um, okay, if I do back, <coughs> I can do sharing. I think it might be time to start locking in some of this, but I'm not sure what to lock in. Um, this doesn't seem right, and up here doesn't seem right. So what are we doing? Yusefful. What the heck? We have four S's here. <laughs> I think okay, let's let's clear this out. What am I confident about? Or at least want to lock in at this point. Maybe merit? If I locked in merit and let's look at merit and worker, it makes this useful. Let me look at that. Useful. Oh, useful. <laughs> okay, useful actually works. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Useful, worker, oops, worker, and merit. <laughs> I, how many times did I look at useful and not see it was useful? It's because of where it was breaking on the F there. I've got fate or fates. Um, what did I have over here? Um, I almost see harmony, but I don't. Um, I see I had moral here. Or is it morals? Morals and club and covers and rest and spot. I don't know, maybe spot isn't right, but maybe rest isn't right. Do I want to do covers here? And club and morals? Seems reasonable. All right, let, let's lock in what we think is right um, at this point. Morals, club, covers. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking rest, spot, if I did rest and spot, the problem is what do we do around here? What did I have in here? Two Ks. What are these? Uh, we've got... Oh, what did I have here? Did I do something wrong? I may have made a mistake already. I see salt. Fate. Bash or back. What would GR do, maybe? Gross. So fate and gross, or fates and gross. But then I feel like we need maybe small here. And then can I do, I can do gross this way. So this would be gross around the corner here. We'd have fate and small. Back and sharing. Okay, I like all of that. Let's do that. Fate, small, gross, back or backs. Okay, I won't, I won't do back yet because I don't know if it's backs. But we've got sharing here. Um, okay, I might want to do backs. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe covers is wrong. Recovers would make a lot of sense. But then we've got this KKY, the CKKY. -C Doesn't make any sense. Is there some way that this KY was supposed to be 
part of something else? Maybe morals is wrong. Yeah, I'm not going to lock in backs yet. Smallest. Backs and smallest. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do that. Already made a mistake. All right. Uh what are we doing around here? I'm I'm thinking covers and club might be wrong. I'm thinking morals might be wrong, but I'm not sure yet. This KKY is really throwing me off. Um I mean, I could do buck, but then what's this K doing? Bucket? I could do bucket. I think I'm supposed to do keys. Oh, no, but then I can't do recover. Um, yeah, I, had, I think I had moral and keys, not morals. All right, let's actually, let's actually just remove all of these, even if they're right. I'm not going to get a great, uh, a great line today, but that's all right. We'll get this done. This is a tough one. So what are we doing here? I, I saw keys, right? And then bucket. But then this, oh, and then we can do recover this way, or recovers. Let's see if it likes recovers. It, it should. Yeah, recovers is fine. So moral, keys, let's do this. Recovers, bucket, bets maybe, and protest. There we go. Club was right. Moral and keys. All right, I got it. <laughs> Look at that four line. So I made a mistake on my fourth lock in, and then I made another mistake, and then I made another mistake, and then eventually I kind of <laughs> messed with it and figured it out. <laughs> I went backwards a little bit. I went around. So up means I made a mistake. Right means I did a word that was correct. Down means I removed a word that was a mistake. And left means I removed a word that wasn't a mistake. So it's kind of a fun path there, actually. Um, cool. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and let me know how you did. Let's do polygonal. We have a seven-letter word today. This letter repeats, this letter repeats. We have hexpert on. All right, so if I do ing, that means we are starting with i. Um, I mean, we're obviously repeating a consonant here, but how is this going to work? I feel like it doesn't. So let's not do ing. Um, we could do a five-letter word that just ends in ed or er or something. I like to try. I like to try ed first, just because uh, we aren't. D is a, the least common of d, r, and s that could be at the end. And that frees us up to use those letters over here if we need to. Um, maybe a t, like a t e d, seems good. Uh, this would be T double O because we've already used the E and this doesn't look good. Um, I feel like this needs to be like a, a double consonant here. Or we need this to be a double consonant. Okay, what about ST here? But then, I mean, like toasted is a word, but we have to repeat. I don't think toasted is a word. We'll see if it accepts it. It doesn't. <laughs> um... So, and we can't do, if we want a double E, then this can't end in ED, but I don't think this helps anyway. Um, Hoosier. I'm not seeing a good opportunity here. Darn. Um, well, something like EST. I don't know. I'm trying to think about good endings here. Um, because we could do EST. These aren't words, though. Ebbiest, eddiest. I'm the eddiest. I'm the airiest. I err the most. <laughs> hmm. I may have to do a filler on this one. I can't think of it. Okay, so seven letter fillers. Uh, I like poultry along with either machine or maidens, depending on the situation. Um, 
machine machine tests ending in e um let's turn off expert maidens in this case maidens might work out better uh neither of these we we care about the the these vowels though but machine doesn't help either let's look at poultry maybe you want to start with that I kind of like starting with poultry because it tests the R around here and it tests if this is a double O. So let's let's do it. No O at all in the word. Um, just the P and the L. Let's play with that for a little bit because I'm thinking double P or double L here. Because we could do A, P, P, something like this. Doesn't work. Um, all right, well, I'm going to do machine to see if we end in that E then. We have an E and an A, but we don't end in the E. Um, APP reinforced, uh, which puts an A here. So this could be appe appeals. Appeals. All right. Nice. Got it. I don't think maidens would have been specifically better. It would have told me it ended with an S, though. All right. Uh, how many words were there? Ten ordinary. That's why I had trouble thinking of any. Egghead. Any with like a good ending. Um, a lot of plurals. A-G-E ending? I don't know if I would have thought about that. E-A-D. I-N-G issuing. So what I missed was the U-I-N-G for issuing. Which I could I could have maybe thought of that, but I don't know how much it would have helped. How much would issuing have helped? Not much. We would have had a yellow S and everything else gray. So even if I'd thought of it, it wouldn't have helped too much. All right, well, let's do the mini. Um, ooh, what? I, I can't, uh, maybe like a DED word, like bided. All right, well, that's an E. Maybe R E R, like sure. Not bad. U E S E S, but not, mus not buses. Um, what else does this? Fusses? Musses? Oh, okay. Muses, muses. Fuses and muses, not mu not fusses and musses. I was just thinking about buses, but normally that would be S S E S. All right, lots of words. I don't know why I looked. All right, let's do symbol. I'll start with blaze. Um, okay, so whenever I get a symbol alone on the Z, um, I like to think it's an E R word. So we test that with poker usually. Okay, so it's O E, but it's not E R. Interesting. Um, ED is possible, but only if the word, if removing the D and it doesn't make it a word and removing the ED doesn't make it a word, right? We can't be a three letter word with ED or a four letter word with D at the end um, for the ED ending words. I know it's confusing, but first predicate, only apply these rules if it ends in ED. Within that, within words that end in ED, it can't still be a word with a D removed and it can't still be a word with the ED removed. Okay, hopefully that's so something like I don't know does it accept uh, doxed <laughs> it does it wasn't that though it wasn't ed uh, ey maybe um I don't know I guess doxed it seems like a bad guess um money bunny is a much better guess okay so we are n o nosy nosy okay So you'll see that this first slot had the plus sign, which is the yellow, which meant that another letter in money had to be there, but we weren't allowed to use any of the greens, the O-E-Y, so it actually had to be an N. So I knew it was N-O something E-Y, and nosy came to mind immediately. We didn't use the S yet, so I just typed it. All right. Uh, cool. Well, let's do fusel. I'll start with money, and that actually works, because this twist is in the dotted lines, we can only put vowels. Nothing from money. Wonderful. Um, in this one, we're going to get symbol-like yellows, uh, so let's do a really good word for that, like stare. All right, so we have the green is green. We have an A in the middle. This I is telling us that the S, T, or R is in that slot. So maybe we ended like at A double S, like grass. We do not. So this told us, though, actually it couldn't have been grass uh, if I had thought about that for two seconds because uh, the S and the R couldn't both be in the word. But it did tell us that this yellow R 
because we know there's an R in the word, and because we know this had to be S, T, or R, and there wouldn't be the other two in it, this is A, R. So um, I don't know where A, R is something. Unfortunately, on this one, all three of these darkened tiles, we're not going to get the color. It's just not going to tell us. Uh, so we're not going to get much info from this. Maybe A, R. It can't be A, R, T. It can't be A, R, S. Um, what would this be? A, R, A? Doesn't look good. A, R, D, maybe. Um, charred? I mean, I knew this would be the R. I didn't learn anything. I'll have to do another A, R, D. Uh, we just know it's not a C. Um, I don't know how to... I don't know another word. In this one, we're going to get a lie. One of our colors will be a lie, which is really unfortunate because I won't learn. I still won't know for sure if that's a D. How about award? Well, we know what the lie is. It's this A, which means the rest of it's telling the truth, which means we don't end in D. Um, here, we're not going to get yellows. Oh, no. This, this, uh, these have been twist after twist after twist, just giving us no info. But here, uh, we're not going to get any yellows. We'll only get If it's green, it'll show up green. Otherwise, it'll show up not green, gray. And that, we won't know whether that's supposed to be yellow. But we know there's no D or a second A or a W. So it's AR something. It's not T. Otherwise, this would have been blue. It's not S, or that would have been blue. We also know there's no S from that from grass. Um, there could still be an H in the word. It could be H-A-R, if that's helpful. At this point, maybe not. Maybe ARK? Like, like what? Like, I thought of snark, but it's not that. Um, no W. I'm thinking about whether this can be an L. Let's get rid of the K. Ending in E, where there'd be so many words, but um, doesn't end in D, K, B. What am I missing about this? Like we're not we're not snarl, right? I don't think we're ending in A R A R L. I like trying the L here. Um, F L P L B L all all reasonable, but I don't know what we'd end with. A R I. We know there's not another A. Um. Wow. What is it? It's not a Z, is it? A R Z. Don't see how. LARP. Um, all right. Well, I mean, I can't. Fillers aren't aren't super useful here, but I'm gonna guess flare anyway. All right, well, okay. All we know is that this uh, there isn't an L here, so that narrows things down. <sighs> Quark. Got it. It took a kick of, that's not an L, by the way, for me to think of other options. But yeah, I had that ARK for a while. I didn't think of Quark. It's a tough word. We had a lot of tough twists for Quark. Um, yeah, that was tough. Okay, cool. Let's do Don't Wordle. It's thinking of a secret word. We are trying not to, to guess it. So I'm going to start with Kayak, as usual. Kayak's all gray, so we follow up with Xylil. That's all gray, so we follow up with cucko. All right, we have a C in place, so now we have to actually think about things. Uh, it could be truck. It could be um, trick. Uh, we could end in CE. We could be like trice. We could be twice. Um, okay, so what's the least destructive thing? Maybe something like geese. Oh no, that would have an S. Whoops. I was like, oh yeah, E-E-C-E, -E -E, that's going to be perfect. No, maybe not. Um, what's the least destructive thing to guess?
trying to think about how to repeat a vowel, use one vowel and repeat it. Um, or, I mean, I guess I could just put a vowel in the middle, but it feels inevitable to try CK or CE, but I'm wondering if there's a more esoteric thing I can guess first. Um, I'm going to save the S for if I don't know what the answer is yet and I need to guess something that won't be the answer, we can do one that ends in S. Um, potentially. I'd have to think of one. We're not worried about that right now, though. I'm worried about an, uh, a good guess here. I thought of Zinx. <laughs> maybe I'll put that in my pocket. Um, maybe a U-C-E word or U-C-K. It feels impossible to avoid an R here, and that's unfortunate. Um, I'm wondering if there is a double E word I can do. Not like that. Uh, we can't do EA, unfortunately. I guess I could do peace. Honestly, that's not bad. Let's do that. All right, the I's in place, which is really unfortunate because I thought <laughs> so many words had R second, I didn't even consider an I there. Um, what, what are we even doing here then? Uh, I could still guess Zinks, but if I can hold that for the last guess, that'll be great. Uh, so no Z, no N, no S. Um, and we hope to not lock in another green, I suppose. I mean, at this point, do we end with anything other than CK? That would be unfortunate because that would mean this. Maybe I should do Zinx now then. Let's just do Zinx now. Perfect. Okay. So I could do CH, TC, oh. I T C H, um, hitch, ditch. I wonder if something like Mitch is a word. It accepts it. Nice. Oh, it wasn't even I T C H. It was birch. Wow. I don't even know if I would have thought of birch. <laughs> birch tree, though. Nice. Uh, that was a pretty good solve. I actually, I think I did well on that one. Cool. Well, those are the games for today. Hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.